Hey YouTube, Old School Gamer 1981, back again with another quick pickups video. Uh, went to the swap meet this weekend, or a different swap meet. Drove about an hour away, uh, got to one that looked like it was going to be pretty crappy, but it turned out pretty good. I got lucky. So, uh, first thing, quick story behind it. Only thing I really saw there was a guy selling a Super Nintendo, a Game Boy, and, a, and about you know, 20 games with it. And I could tell right away he didn't want to single out the games. Um, I asked him, I was like, you know, how much is this, how's that? And he's like, oh, well, I'm, I want to sell everything for $100. I was like, ah, of course, you know. Um, I checked through his games, and I, said, I thought he had some, you know, kind of good ones in there, but for the most part, they were, you know, crappy ones, especially the Super Nintendo ones, but there's some Game Boy ones I wanted. So I was sitting there talking to him, talking to him, and, uh, I kind of got the feeling that he didn't really know what the games are worth, that he thought the system was what, you know, where the money was at. So I kind of bamboozled him a little bit, and <laughs> I uh, ended up picking up uh, 10 games off him for uh, $30, and um, I'll show them to you. Right, let me get a little closer. I want y'all to let me know how I did on this. Um, $30 for these Game Boy games and Super Nintendo games. So I haven't looked them up yet. I don't really, don't really know the value of uh, Game Boy games. I don't collect them. So the first one was uh, Legend of Zelda. Donkey Kong Land. Harvest Moon. Mega Man 2. Kirby's Dream Land. Final Fantasy Legend and Pokemon Crystal. So, uh, yeah, I picked out the ones that stood out to me as being the more valuable games. So, uh, left them with some Tetrises and other stuff like that. Uh, the three Super Nintendo games I picked out was uh, Super Mario All-Stars, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, and Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. So, uh, Picked up all those for $30 uh, instead of paying $100 for a system that I don't need and a Game Boy I don't need. So uh, let me know how I did on that in the comments below. Was that worth a $30 pickup? Um, I, I don't collect Game Boy games, so I'm probably going to put those up for trade. Actually, those are up for trade. I'll put a link to my Nintendo Age again in this video, and I'll trade them out for Nintendo carts I don't have. So I'm going to hold on to the Super Nintendo ones. But uh, all the Game Boy games came with the protective cases too. So uh, yeah, let me know how I did. Uh, message me if you're interested in any of those for a trade. Uh, had $12 left after that and I kept walking and the last guy uh, stopped out at the swap meet had something that I've never seen before out hunting but it was a Sega Master System. Uh, came with a game, uh, Rastan, Rastan, I'm not sure what that is but uh, I've never seen one of these out you know, hunting before, and I don't have one, so I thought that was really freaking cool for $12, and it came with two of the uh, original controllers for it, so buttons work, everything, doesn't feel all sticky, you know, they're in pretty good shape, so 12 bucks, can't really beat that, he did give me a power supply for it, but it's the wrong one, of course, um, I looked on eBay, I could uh, find one for pretty cheap, so once I get a power uh, adapter for it, I will be good to go to test this out. So um, yeah, that was a pretty cool find for 12 bucks. So uh, uh, like I said, if any of y'all are interested in those Game Boy games, uh, the link to my Nintendo Age collection will be in the description, so take a look on there, see what I don't have, see if you want to get rid of something you have for a... Uh, any of those Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, color games. So uh, that's about it. Uh, Till next time, Old School Gamer, 1981. See ya.